Today marks the first day of a five day car pull fest. We are in Fort Worth, Texas, and we are hanging out with Jared from Adventures with Purpose and a whole bunch of other content creators and scuba divers. We're gonna be jumping lakes in this city. We're gonna be pulling out multiple cars, seeing if we can solve some missing persons case and ultimately cleaning up the environment and getting these cars where they belong, which is somewhere where they can recycle it and make some cool new stuff out of it. So today we are at a little lake right here in the center of a neighborhood and looking at it you wouldn't think that there's much going on here but believe it or not there are cars in this lake and the goal for today is to see how many cars we can mark with the buoys and then get them out of the water. We're going to get them all out of the water one way or another I guarantee it but how long it's going to take how crazy it's going to get nobody knows hopefully it goes off without a hitch but if there is some craziness and mayhem at least we're going to get it on tape so you guys can see it. We're on this lake, looking for the cars. Dude, I don't know. All right, so you can see we got the car marked with the buoy. And uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. We go by here. So we'll go right by so you can see it right here. You see the buoy out there? Now look on the sonar, you can see it to your left. There it is right there. Oh, that's a really good shot of it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is a perfect shot, dude. Let's uh Wow, look at that. It's sitting perfectly, it's sitting on its wheels. It looks to be a uh, Man, you can even tell what kind of car it is almost. That is really cool. All right, so now we got the first car marked. The other team, they marked a the car. There's still three more out here to find. So let's keep on looking, see what we can find. So I just got another car marked, and this one looks like it's a pickup truck. Check out the screen really quick. We'll go by it real, real fast. I didn't record marking it with the buoy because that is just boring. But now that we got it marked, we know exactly where it is. Let me let me drive by it real quick, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Check us out. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. You guys tell me if you think it's a pickup truck or not. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Oh, that's that's gotta be a pickup truck. What do you what do you guys think? Comment below. So both cars that I found are sitting on their wheels. We got one car over here uh, that the other guys marked. It's upside down. And Britton and Adam looks like they got two cars marked way over here. Let's go over there and take a look real quick. See what they look like. Uh, we're going through the buoys right now. Let's see what we got here. Definitely a car, definitely a car. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's two cars sitting right next to each other. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got all the cars marked. There are five cars identified out here. Actually, four cars, one pickup for sure. The two cars that I marked, they look like, there's one It could be a Grand Marquis, maybe a Crown Vic. The other one is a pickup truck, 1,000% a pickup truck. Now, here is the catch. I did a little research online and I found five or six missing persons cases where they went missing in their car. One of them is a pickup truck. One of them is a pickup truck. I think it's a Tacoma. And the other one is a, a Grand Marquis. There's also a Lincoln Town car that I found that's missing and uh, two other ones. So I got Brayton from uh, Depths of History with me. So pretty much the cars we're gonna dive on today, it's all fun and games, but keep in the back of your mind that there are missing people. So when you do yes. dive these cars, Keep that in the back of your mind. I was like, okay, treat this seriously. There could be a missing person inside. Or all the windows up. All the windows up, get the tag, you know. And then once we confirm that these are just stolen cars or insurance fraud, you know, then we continue with the fun and games. But just keep that in the back of your mind. That, all right, all right, there might be, might be something serious here. There could be something but serious, But yes. we're still going to have fun. We're still going to keep this a very positive day. Yes. So let's get, right now we're going to get Britton in the water. He's going to go dive one of the cars and we're going to clear it, see if we can get the tag off of it and then go from there. Awesome. Do you want me to haul you over here, put your stuff on, and then I can just drag you out there? Yeah. That was so cool. Can't really distinguish where the diver is, but he is down there. And that's the car. A couple tires right here. Oh, you can see him right there as plain as day. Like he's swimming on that. Oh, that's so cool. See, that, that, that bright blip right there is Britain. That, yeah, that's... Right 
Look at that. That's him right there. That's so cool. You can see Britain swimming around the car. You see his bubbles. Man, that's neat. That was quick. I know. What, uh, what, what, uh, what is that? Can you get a, t is it partial? Huh? Can you read some numbers on it? Yeah, some of them, it's crumbling apart. What about windows and stuff? Windows is down. Windows down. Front door. Back two are up. But the, the, um, the front left window's down. Okay, so nobody's in it. No, so nobody's in it. Alright. Oh god, oh god. Here, let me see that. Let's try to keep it from breaking apart anymore. Yeah, I know, dude. It was like falling apart down there. Yeah. Oh well, we got, we got enough. Maybe. All right, that was quick. All right, we're back up on land. Uh, Britain got the tag off the car really easily, as you can see. Uh, there, the cop is running all the numbers right now. It doesn't look like there's any missing cases to be solved at this lake. So uh, what we're gonna do now, once we confirm all the cars to be stolen or what's the story behind them, we're gonna start floating them. Uh, are we lift bagging any of these? Or are they no. just, gonna, we're just gonna pull them out? Yes, I mean, it's, it's so close. All right, Adam Brown, it seems like you have all the knowledge, so why don't you share your knowledge? I, I have a little bit. I have enough to hurt myself. So we got five tags off all the cars. Yep. What did what did you learn from all these tags? Well, me and Jared went over there, the first one that you hooked. Yep, yep. Supposedly hooked. I drove down, the magnet was not attached to anything. Moving on, <laughs> moving on. Well, a few feet over was this old truck, and it's a smaller truck. I keep, I'm guessing like a Tacoma or something, I, I'm not, you know, smaller. But uh, this was the license plate. The bed was down, so I had to like reach under and rip this thing off. Luckily, it was already halfway off, so. Did you clear it? Uh, the front window, the driver window was open. It was too silty for the life. I, I looked, man, I stuck my head in there, I couldn't see. I think it's clear, though. Okay. So that was pretty cool. What about that these one, other cars, what they figure the, out? The other one, I'm not sure about those, these are Britons, but this one, close by, who marked that one, did you? No, I, I marked the pickup truck and the other one. You got, so, I think that's the that's the, the this, special one. This is a special one because it is literally the pinkest thing you've ever seen in your life. It was a, a hot pink Chrysler, like hot pink, pink, pink. Nice. Completely covered pink and it's kind of upside down like this. So the wheels and axles are straight up. We'll be able to get it. And uh, that one came off pretty easily too. So I'm excited to see this thing come out of the water. It's going to be like a highlighter. Just whoo. Oh, it's going to be good. That might just end up being the thumbnail. That might be the thumbnail, man. <laughs> Okay, so the tow truck companies have arrived. They're getting all their gear out. Dude, they came packed, and I've never seen something like this. I think they call it a, uh, uh, I don't know what they call it, but it looks like a bobcat, and they're gonna use it to pluck these cars out of the river. And it's really, really cool looking. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull that car out that I found first, and then we're gonna go over to the other side and pull those other cars out. But let's watch in and see how this tow truck company is gonna set all this stuff up. Yeah, I've never seen them use a bobcat before. Let's see, see the little uh, sight on the top. That can pull 139,000 pounds. Do you think Britain will succeed? I think Britain will succeed. Well, all right. So the tow truck guys, they're they're breaking out this skid steer and getting the cable all pulled out. And Britain is going to go down. He's going to rig up the car, and then hopefully everything works out great, and they will pull it out, and it's going to be awesome. So you got you, it. One of the axles, like, I got it around one completely. Got it around the axle once? Yeah. We're good. We're right. So you got it around one axle, is that what you said? One axle. One axle. Gonna hold, do you think? I think it'll hold. Neat. Oh, yeah. Is it the, is it the um, driver rear axle? Yeah, dri driver rear. Nice. Yep. That's the one that's pretty much facing so, right here, right? I pulled on it as hard as I could. It was not coming out, but... All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully. That's moving. Ah, there's stuff floating up everywhere. It's nasty. Oh yeah! Man, look at that! <laughs> Let's get it! Wow, that was way up. That's a Ford Focus, I think. Of course. Oh, you want it? Look at it on the side. Man! Oh, Dude, that looks. That is so gnarly! <laughs> Yeah, I'll open the net on. In total, I think three of them are coming out of this lake. Two of them are pretty stuck. The oh, we're not one, going after another two. The next, I, we don't know yet. Uh, this one over here is a hot pink Chrysler. So that one's coming out a little bit later today. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Snagged it right on the back. Hell yeah. You did that? I sure did. I oh, there's the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. They fall off after a while. <laughs> we got exploring with Nug here. I know I told you guys I introduced everybody just by talking about them, but... So we got the first car out of the lake, and uh, that was the one that I found and marked it, so I'm, I'm very proud of that one. But it ended up being a Ford Taurus. I'm pretty sure you guys can help me in the comments below if I'm wrong. One of those older model, like early 2000s, I think. But uh, it wasn't in the worst shape, honestly. I mean, it wasn't wrecked. Looks like it could have been stolen, maybe insurance scam, something like that. But now we move on to the other car, which is across. Actually, we got two more cars we're gonna pull in this video alone, so stick around. We're gonna pull the hot pink Chrysler, which was an insurance job. And then we're gonna pull the pickup truck that I found. And we don't know what kind of model that one is, but those two are coming out next, so stick around. All right, we're on the other side of the lake right now. I'm gonna dive with Adam as he hooks up the hot pink car. And uh, I'm pretty much just gonna go for the support. <laughs> Hopefully I can go straight shot and not get lost out there. Well, just air up and float out there. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And then just drop so down on the buoy. Heavy, huh? Right. You need your fins or? All right, I've reached the buoy. I'm gonna drop down first. Wait on Adam and then see how good he does. Maybe I can learn. So I had to get out of the water early because my light died, if you've seen that. But uh, Adam got the car hooked up. This is the hot pink Chrysler. So let's watch this thing get drug up on here real quick. Well, they're, they're, they're getting their uh, money's worth today. Uh oh, here we go. Hey, yeah. look at that. Woo! It's red, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it red? It's red. I don't think yeah, it's pink, it's man. That's red. That's red. It's red. red. No, 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 that's pink. It's red. I'm pretty that's sure red. that's red. Floating? Is it just dragging the bus? It kind of looks right? like it is floating. Yeah. yeah is it red or pink? That's it's red. red. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's no. totally red. No, dude, that's pink. upside down, so as soon as he lifts it. Now, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Well, that's coming off. Put your hand in there. Dive in, man. There we go. Okay. Well, hey. it's gonna be something. Hey. Everybody saying hello. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a mortifying if something rolled out. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys so much. I am live as well. Why would you go live at the same time? I want to. Hey, well, that's what that's happening for. Really want to do. That's some mud fish in there. They like the mud. All right, so they got it rolled and flipped over, got it cleared, nobody inside it. Right, nobody in there? Awesome. I don't know what it is about these cars, but why does the mud always turn so black? It's just nasty. Seats back there, that is so nasty. Definitely not a hot pink car though. Not a hot pink car. All right, so no thanks to me, they got the second car out of the water. It was a red town and country, not pink like some people may think, red. But now they're gonna drag that out the rest of the way. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna rig up the pickup. Which way is the truck facing? Uh, it's facing us. Front end? Yep. All right. So, so it just... should be easy. I mean, you're gonna have to dig. I don't know how you're gonna hook it. If you're gonna. You're Does gonna it have use... alloy wheels? Can I go through the wheel? Well, I couldn't even. I mean, the mud is like right above the wheel. So if you put your hand out, you'll feel it. I mean, I can feel the hitch, the ball, but the, the bed of the truck's down. So, so, but the but the front is facing this the front way. Front is facing us. Okay. Yeah, just roll backwards in here. What if I could feed it through the like the frame or attaches to the bumper? I don't know. I mean, I don't just feel around. You should be able to just feel your hand down on the tire, get around the tire. I think that'd be the oh, whatever. Let's do this. 
All right, so I had to get out of the water. You seen when I was down there, I couldn't see anything. It was boring video. I, all I saw was brown and uh, I failed. I failed miserably. So Doug got in the water. He's rigging up the car right now, pickup truck, I mean, and then they're gonna pull that one out and uh, we'll see what's in that one. This is a big old day full of car pulling, so stick with me. I think we're actually gonna pull the other two cars in this video too. Gonna be really cool. All right, so Doug just popped up out there and apparently he got it hooked up. So he wins, I lose, I don't care, moving on. And they're pulling it in right now, so let's uh, see how this looks. It looks like it's coming out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't see nothing in there. You see anything in there? It's a full bed of mud. Oh, shoot. He won't lie, he's gonna drag it up. There it goes. 1500. Huh. I'll take it to Noma. I was just wrong all day, man. Dude, they're gonna open they're gonna open that door and the fish is gonna fall out like you see in the movies. <laughs> oh, oh it's so nasty. Dude, you gotta open that door. There's so, it sounds like there's a bunch of fish in there. <laughs> oh, there are. There are? They're fish? Yep. Oh, yeah, there's a ton oh of fish my. I hope that door ain't gonna open that pry bar. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah. The word is there's a bunch of fish in here. I gotta take a, I gotta take a peek for myself. Oh, dude! They want lion, man. They're everywhere here. Oh. All right, so we got the pickup out finally. It was difficult. I failed miserably. Doug managed to get it rigged and got it out. It, is, it looks like an 89. No, no, no. It looks like a 98 Chevy 1500, and it's filled with fish, as you can see. So this is the third car we've gotten out today. Let's zip over to the other side of the lake and check out car four and five and see if we can get those out of the water. Oh, okay. All right, why don't I just go right between them? Uh, go to this one over there. Which one? Oh, this one. The furthest one that way? Yeah, that way. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to breathe. I'm chopping you up. <laughs> I'm trying to breathe is what I was trying to do. Where's the buoy at? Two more line. Oh, uh, still got five more. Ten more feet. Hi, guys. Pulling the line. You already got it all rigged up, you said? Yeah, all I gotta do. All right, we got car number four hooked up, coming out. Whoa, look at all them bubbles. Oh, there it goes. That's attached to the back of the hitch that was pointed this direction, so it had to do a little woohoo. Oh, it's not even attached to the axles, it's the hitch? No, it's attached to the back of the hitch because I couldn't get it on a tire. Nice. Looking like a SUV. SUV. A blazer.
Right. <laughs> Wasn't this your uh, bread and butter before uh, uh, like your previous job? I know. It's like a big toolbox. I thought it was a microwave. We're going to have a meetup event. They're ATMs. What? Hey, they're ATMs. ATM? What? <laughs> I'd recognize that circuit board Yeah. So what, people stole the ATMs yeah. and then stuck them in the car and dumped the car? That's nuts. Guys, do we get a finder for me? Uh, we'll talk about it. Right here. Right here. Come on, Mike. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Love it. All right, so we got the blazer out and the blazer was full of ATMs as you've seen So we're getting this number five car out and we're gonna see what's in it We think they're gonna be related so there might be stuff in that one, too. So let's check this out pickup truck. Nice. There's definitely stuff in the back. There's more ATMs in the back. So it looks like there's three more ATMs in this pickup truck, they're saying. Looks like they already broke the window out. Mmm. Looks like a whole lot of nothing, which is good. Well, that was super fun. Five cars out of this one lake in one day. That is bonkers. We had so much fun. It was super hard work. I wish I could have gotten the water more, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I was not gonna be that much help in that water. As you can see with the pickup, I failed. So I helped out on top. I was supportive. You guys understand, you're with me. Anyways, tomorrow is another amazing day, so be looking for day two. Until we meet again, my name is Jeremy, and I will see you on the next dive. Wow.